Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to our daily Mass here on the grounds of Mary, Mother of God Parish at Holy Rosary Church. And all of you, we welcome you who are watching this by way of the marvels of uh, video and YouTube. So we begin this day in honor of uh, Father Junipero Serra. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Let us call to mind our fault, failings, and sins today. And we'll ask Deacon Jan to lead us in the act of repentance. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable uh, mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, blessed Juniper Cerro, to count many American peoples within your church, and grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry always and everywhere before all people the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feast, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy song. I will not listen to the melodies of your heart. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people, and I will speak Israel. I will testify against you. God your God am I. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. <coughs> I take from your house no bullet, no goat out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are the animals of the forest, the beast by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline? and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Blessed Father. Nick and Jan, may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, and be written in the famous Holy Gospel. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Therefore, thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, 
they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. And Jesus did that, didn't he? When he came upon the demoniacs, where there was evil incarnate present, and he showed the saving power of God in cleansing that area. They, the, the, they went into the, uh, the swine and so forth, and they, he cleansed and purified that area. I'd like to bring up today on this feast of Saint uh, Jeruna, um, <laughs> uh, Junipero Serra, uh, an issue of um, what we just spoke about. Um, I'm sure you have been seeing on the news toppling of statues in the public arena, and now they're coming towards the religious arena, where we're having desecration of statues and Catholic icons, and also uh, intimidation of bishops and priests and so forth, and, um, and uh, problems with uh, the desecration of churches. I, just, I bring up one instance uh, in, uh, in California, Junipero Serra, in the late 1700s, he, he Catholicized a whole of, he's known as the father of California. He, 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 he brought the people together. He, in the late 1700s, he was uh, um, a missionary in Mexico. And he came up from there and established all these different missions, nine different missions in California, and brought people together with an identity of, uh, of their Catholic faith. And, uh, and, and help and work with them to provide a better quality of life for them and so forth. Um, and now, uh, apparently, uh, his uh, history has been remodeled and changed into, unfortunately, a negative viewpoint of him. That he was a colonizer from uh, from Spain, you know, and, and he uh, entrapped people, you know, into a a particular way of life and so on. So his images have to come down. And we saw in, in uh, Los Angeles where they took the ropes and the chains and they pulled his image, standing there with his, his uh, Franciscan uh, garb and holding the cross, bang, crash smashed in, in, San, in, in, in Los Angeles. And then one that I want to speak about very briefly in San Francisco. Nothing was done, nothing was said from the ecclesiastical church in Los Angeles about the desecration of that statue. But in San Francisco, Archbishop uh, um, uh, is uh, Corleone, and, and the name is Corleone, all right? That's familiar to all of us, I think. Uh, but that's his name. He went out where they, uh, the, in the public park, where the, the statue of uh, Juniper Cerro was standing, and torn down and desecrated, smashed and everything like that. And he went out there and with a whole group of people. Uh, and, and they came and they prayed the rosary. And then he, he exercised the area. Just like Jesus cleared and exercised the demoniacs, that whole area of evil spirits. He said, this is not just the action of, uh, you know, uh, people upset with this or that, says this is the action of the devil. Says this is demoniac. And they prayed and he, he exercised the whole area and so forth. And they could have come and you know done harm to him and everything like that, but nobody touched him because he had his own army there of people who felt the same way that uh, 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 desecrating the statue and so on and so forth. There's another instance of, 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 of in St. Louis where this mob um, and, and, and uh, came uh, to desecrate and tear down the statue of St. Louis. Uh, 
he was a king in France in the 11th century, one of the greatest Catholic kings uh, in all of the history of France and really in the history of Europe. And he did so much good for his people. And he, he just was a tremendous evangelizer himself as, as the king of his people and so on. And he was consecrated and uh, elevated to sainthood. Well, this whole black mob came, said, this man has to go. He can't stand, his statue has to go. He's a symbol, again, you know, of the, ter the, the tyranny, you know, of, of, of European kings and so on and so forth, of suppressing his peoples and this and that. They just changed the whole history all around that, to an untruth. And they were going to take that statue, desecrate it, bring it down, smash it. A young priest, Father, I wrote his name, Shoemaker, came and stood before them with a megaphone, and it had his cassock, his collar, and stood before this whole group, saying, trying to give the correct history of St. Uh, Louis, of the King St. Louis. And they wanted nothing of it. They kept shouting him down, shouting, he kept shouting back at them. This is, this is not right. You are changing the history uh, to your own purposes. You know, we have to respect uh, what has gone on in history. We have to respect this man was a great saint and a great person who, who gave his life in service to his people and so on. They said, listen, the statue goes first. Someone in that crowd said, statue goes first. Then we're going to your church. And then he said, and then they said, and you're next. Did that stop him? No. Con continued on. Even in, uh, you know, threats to his own life, that young priest, Father Schumacher, in St. Louis, Missouri. I mean, this, and this is happening not just in St. Louis, Missouri, or in San Francisco, or in Los Angeles, it's happening all over, and it's starting. And many people feel that it's, uh, the attack is not only against, you know, um, our own American history, and its government officials, and so on and so forth, it's an attack on the church. And many believe that it's not just uh, groups here and there and so on and so forth. This is demoniac. The, the devil is having his day. And as he takes and as he energizes people to come and tear down the church, you know, and um, threaten bishops and priests and, and all of our beautiful statues and icons and everything that represents uh, the body of Christ, Says, this is this is not just some wayward group here and there. This is Satan and his minions. The church is under attack, and I bring that up today because you know what happened to the icons of, of Father Sarah, and I think we have to do what the the uh, responsorial psalm said today: to the upright, I will show the very power of God. To the upright. Archbishop Corleone in San Francisco showed the power of God as he, he brought the rosary and he brought the, the, um, uh, the, the means of uh, eradicating the demoniac uh, environment there and so on and so forth. And you and I have to do the same. We have that power to show the power of God in our lives to protect our churches, protect our faith, um, you know, protect uh, our authorities. Um, humbly me, and, and all of us, you know, who try to do uh, God's will and uh, promote the kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And now, let us stand together, offer our prayers and petitions with the power that we all have, the power of prayer, to bring God's assistance to our many needs. Let the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust, rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the servant leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air and water. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and assist them with needed services and care. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may greet the underprivileged and the handicapped, seeing in their face the countenance of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the faithful departed, and especially for Eleanor Ross, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us turn to our Blessed Mother. Certainly a great power of God resides in her assistance, and let us seek her intercession that these petitions and many more will be heard by our Lord through her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Share in the divinity of Christ, who allows himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands are made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless, Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. For God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Let us all stand and pray. Powerfully pray that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. We praise the glory of his name. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of Junipera Serra, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of our Lord's Passion, may imitate what we do now through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as on this festival of St. Junipero Serra, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his works of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with all of the company of angels and saints, we too sing to him of your praise as without end we all acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, like the do false, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into the passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, your devoted husband, with St. Juniper de Serra, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints will please you throughout the ages. May we pray merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and pray, powerfully pray, the words that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress and all the activities of the demoniacs as we wait in, uh, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity, and according to your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the very power of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are we this morning, or call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. I only say the word, so my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith that we may everywhere profess in word and in deed the faith which St. Juniper Sarah never ceased to labor for and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. You may now come forward to receive the body of Christ. Thanks. 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 Thanks.